Hangama too by Priyadarshan. No ado about nothing. That the film gets released so low key is an indication that Priyadarshan himself seems to have lost confidence in the film. In any event, as you run through the film, as he runs through the script, you understand that Priyadarshan may well have gone for a holiday during the making of the film. Resultantly, this is a comedy that invokes very little laughter. Remember Hangama, which had Shoma Anand and Paresh Raval in the lead roles, which had Akshay Khanna in a very interesting film with Riya Sen and Aftab Shiv Dasani. That too was a slightly over the top comedy, but nonetheless had enough and more of laughter. This film labors to tickle you and you'll find very little opportunity to laugh. The storyline is very simple. You have uh, Akash played by Mizan Jaffrey uh, living with his uh, over the top father, Colonel Govind Kapoor, Ashutosh Rana, and into the family where uh, Ashutosh Rana's other grandchildren are living. A lady walks in. Pranita Subash playing Mani Kapoor, claiming to be the wife of Aku or Akash. Akash rejects. Th he first completely feigns innocence. He says he does not know her, but slowly confesses to the fact that of course he knows her, of course he has been her friend, of course he's had an affair with her, but the child that she brings home as the heir apparent is not his child. Interestingly, he is about to get married to the daughter of Manaswit, a partner of his father, played by Manoj Joshi, another steady performance from Manoj Joshi. <clears throat> so he's scared where his engagement will be called off, as is Ashutosh Rana, who's dependent on his friend even monetarily, so he wants to ensure that the new arrival in the family and her child is kept a secret. But that is not to be. And what happens? Who is Vani Kapoor? Why is she in the family is what the story is about. Running parallelly with this is Aku's friend, Anjali, played by Shilpa Shetty. And her husband is Radhi Sham, Paresh Rabu. Radhi Sham, the same name from Hangama. And uh, he is that ever suspicious husband who misunderstands the relationship between his wife Anjali and Anjali's colleague at office Akash Aku. Things come to a boil. They are very, 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 very insipid. And finally, you come to know what all the story is about. There's a slight revenge tale added to it. It's a non-starter. You would believe that in a Pridarshan movie running into about two hours, you'd have some amount of laughter. It's amazing that he visits his Mindaram of 1994 with such indifference. The film has no pulse. It's a dying film. It does not endear. It does not give you anything to smile about, leave alone laugh at. So far as the performances are concerned, you have some amazing actors like Ashutosh Rana, over the top. Tiku Tansanya, over the top. Johnny Liver, please, you're not in a mimicry scene. You're doing a film. You're like one of those... Uh, his role, of course, is a copy from Gulzar's Parichai, a very crassly done copy of that part of the story. Uh, you also have a Parichai-like parallel story running of uh, kids at the house uh, chasing away tutors, which doesn't carry much significance either to the narrative or to the attention of the audience. Shilpa Shetty, 
well, she never made great claims to being an actor. Uh, so there she is. The most disappointing aspect of the film, I'll come to that in a minute, before which I must tell you that if there's somebody who's put some life into the film, it is uh, Mizan Jaffrey who plays the role of Akash, the center character. Some life into the film. Not that he's great, but there's comparatively, when compared to most others in the film, there's some aura of credibility in his performance. Coming to Paresh Rabin. This is arguably his worst outing in a comic role. Even his over the top other films garner more spirit and more points. This is a non starter. Hangama 2 is hung. And the absolute pathetic film, I don't think it would make it even for a week in the theatres. OTT is a different story altogether, and you feel that there's a very lazy predarshan half heartedly giving you Hangama 2. Predarshan's films have always uh, swung on a pendulum. Some are very good, some are bad. This is not only bad, but hugely disappointing.